video for lesson six on my website, Even and Odd Numbers. This is a quick and easy lesson, but an important one. In math, we say that a number is even if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Let's write that down. probably guess that if the number ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, it's considered to be an odd number. Okay, now all that matters is the rightmost digit of the number. We don't care about any other digits. Let's take a look at a few examples. Let's look at the number 176. All that matters is the rightmost digit. And that shows us that this is an even number. Let's take a look at the number 2,847. Again, all that matters is the rightmost digit, and that shows us that that's an odd number. Now let's see what even and odd is really all about. Let's think about 12 objects. I'm going to go ahead and draw 12 circles. Now we know that 12 is an even number because it ends with a 2. Okay, so we have an even number of circles and the fact that it's even means that I can divide up these circles into two equal groups, two even groups. The circles divide evenly and we can easily do that like this. So 12 is an even number. Now if I were to add a 13th circle, 13 is an odd number because there's no way that we can divide the 13 circles into two equal groups. So we say that 13 is an odd number. This is just a very basic lesson. Make sure that you memorize the definitions of even and odd. You'll see this again and again. And we'll work with this more in upcoming lessons.